Kenley Tigaman, uh, good to have you on. Uh, we read your whole blog here last week, and, and I want to get to something you wrote here, sort of off the top. You said you had never experienced this kind of public disrespect, humiliation, and blatant discrimination ever before. Kenley, how, does this, how did this whole exchange begin? Take me back. Well, well, first I have to correct you. I, I've definitely experienced it as someone who weighed 400 pounds. I, I'm still overweight. I still experience it, but never on an airline and never, uh, never to this degree. It, it, it was, uh, but, but I want to say right away, I'm, I'm not here to assert that I have the right to encroach on anyone else's seat. I'm simply saying that the airline needs to accommodate its passengers and a third of Americans are overweight. So you know, it's time to talk about it. Yeah, and I'm, I'm just reading what you wrote on your blog here, but, but take me back. What yeah. specifically happened? Why were they irked with you? What, what were they saying? Uh, well, I, I had been on a flight from, from Denver to New Orleans via Dallas, and I had to run to catch that flight because there was about five minutes until, until boarding time. So I did that, and it was fine. I, I got... We, we, my mother and I both received our boarding passes, and there was a public thing going on with with another passenger who then said, "Why aren't you, you know, why aren't you discussing this with those women as well?" So she pulled us into their conversation. At which point, they they demanded that we buy an extra ticket to fly. We did get to board, but um, that wasn't until I took my camera out and started, you know, I used my iPhone to to document. Uh, what was happening, and the tune changed quickly. Well, uh, we were allowed to board, but not after, you know, it was 45 minutes of silliness. Back first. and forth. Let me bring up your iPhone. Yeah, let's play in front that. Of everyone. Kenley, let's play that clip. This yeah. is when uh, <laughs> you, you did sort of, kind of, sort of get an apology this we from were, this. Go ahead, set it up. Right. Yeah, yeah. We were at this point getting ready to board. They had offered us $200 vouchers because. We suggested that they had broken a lot of privacy laws. They asked how much I weighed. They asked how, what size clothes I wore. And as someone who is in the middle of a weight loss journey, I was happy to tell them. However, it was still uh, very inappropriate. So at, at this point, um, he was offering apologies, and I asked if he'd like to do it for my website, and this is what he said. Okay, let's watch. Well, I just wanted to say I'm no sorry. Talk. We heard all about her medical conditions. Do you want to tell me you're sorry on camera? Of course. I'm there. very, very sorry. Very sorry. For what? Sorry. <laughs> I'm very, very sorry for you're the manner in which I addressed it. I addressed the... Thank you. Okay, Kenley. Good enough? Uh, you know, it, it's tough to say. Um, it's... I think that we all have bad days, we all make mistakes, but he did it in front of an airline full of people, and the problem is is that there, there's a solution to this problem. I mean, uh, JetBlue, for instance, offers passengers uh, the, the, the option to pay $38, I believe it is, for extended legroom. It's a really simple problem, a, a really simple solution. Um, someone could get in and, and maybe widen a few rows of seats, at which point uh, everyone becomes more comfortable. Again, I don't want to encroach on anyone. I just want to, to express to the airlines that it's time to, instead of deeming what is the proper size of a human being without regard for a human being, to, to instead put a little thought into it and, you know, and let's go forward with, uh, with additional room. I mean, it's, there, there has to be an answer. There are people, I've gotten hundreds of emails from people who are at this point driving 20 plus hours yeah I was gonna ask you what, what happened with me I that was gonna day. ask yeah. you what kind yeah. of you know outpouring you got we you know I do want to say because we picked up the phone we've reached out to Southwest Airlines for a comment they promise mm -hmm. they will give us one we're still waiting to hear back but Kinley what I'm hearing from you that you know you understand the rules you understand the guidelines but bigger picture this was about I mean, you I mentioned and, you and mentioned that they asked you about your issue you, you the, your dress size publicly this is just about to you blatant insensitivity is that right to me, I, you know what, I'm not here to sound like a victim. I'm here to be an advocate for people who are being discriminated against on a regular basis. The airlines are here to offer a public service. We have money to pay for flights. So, so let's adjust to the fact that people are larger than they were 50 years ago. It's a reality. I'm doing the best that I can to change my situation, but I can't judge everyone's situation. People who are, are thin deserve the right to fly. People who are heavier deserve the right to fly. This is about equal rights to equal access, mm -hmm. and it's, it's not impossible to make to make everyone more comfortable flying so 
uh, I, I just, again, I can't stress enough. I'm not interested in encroaching on anyone else's personal space. I understand. I, understand. I want equal rights to equal access. Kenley Tigaman, people can read your blog. It is all the way, W-E-I-G-H. Uh, wish you the best <laughs> of luck, and we will turn around uh, anything yeah. we get from Southwest Airlines. Thank you so much.